Let's begin by just stopping for a moment and bringing our attention to the life of our body, feeling ourselves. And when I say to bring the attention to the life of the body, where we start is sensation. Sensation is the building block of life. What we feel, what are we feeling? We're feeling temperature. Just open to the possibility, can I feel temperature here? What's the temperature in the room? I know some of you may even be outside. Sensation is shape. We feel a certain shape. Maybe if we're standing, the easiest thing for some of you to do, feel the shape that your feet make with the floor, the rug. Maybe the shape you feel is a place where you're holding or you're contracting. Just noticing that. Sensation is movement. Maybe we feel a movement of the breath in and out of the mouth or nostrils. We feel the sensation of the breath either of the chest or the belly center. And what we're going to do is we're going to work with four dimensions, four dimensions. These four dimensions are present in every living thing, from the single cell, to the trees, to a giraffe, to our bodies. And that is, there's length, there's width, there's depth, and there's an organizing principle. We say the organizing principle for humans is purpose, that you embody your purpose or your commitment towards what it is you're taking care, taking care of. So let's begin with length. And what I want you to do is that I want you to align your head, your shoulders, your hips, your knees, and your ankles. Now, we may say, well, that's how it is. But if we look around, we may see this. Those are exaggerated forms of not being in our length. So when we're in our length, we're both straightening, feel, sense, or imagine the space between your spinal column, the vertebra in your spinal column. It's not trying to overreach or be overly tall. Feel that this is the miracle of being a human being. We're the only animal that can do this over a sustained period of time. So we're, while we're in length, we're both also settling. And what does settling mean? And why would we settle? Fundamentally, we settle because we're 24 seven in the presence of gravity. There's a pull downward. That's the energy field of the planet. And gravity's winning. If you don't know what I mean, look at a picture of yourself 20 years ago. And now, now. There's that pull down. The more that we come in harmony with gravity by finding our vertical line, we're not fighting this pull. Let's start with our eyes. Relax your eyes. That means coming behind your eyes and softening this band, the ocular or the eye band. If you do that, you'll notice your peripheral vision opens. If it's hard for you to go to any of these places that I lead you through, um, just be patient with yourself and generous with yourself 
to know that the more I practice here, the more that I'll be able to inhabit my own body. Coming down to the jaw band, the system is designed. The teeth never have to touch. The system is designed so that if you're not talking or eating, the tongue is just relaxed. Try this, just bite down on your teeth. Feel what happens to the rest of your body, your breath, your eyes. Now relax the jaw. The system is designed so that the mass of the body is held on the skeleton. Feel, sense, or imagine that your shoulders are resting on the shoulder girdle. In fact, let's do this. Raise your shoulders about two inches. Some people go through their life this way. This is mass holding up mass. Drop your shoulders. Now lift your eyebrows up. So you're furrowing your forehead. That is mass holding up mass. Relax your forehead. Eyes are relaxed, your jaws relaxed, your shoulders are dropped. The system is designed so your breath happens at your abdomen. What that means is as I inhale, the abdomen goes slightly out. As I exhale, it goes slightly in. You can't feel that. You can put your hand on your belly. This is a big one for many of us because nobody on the cover of those magazines has a relaxed belly. I'm not trying to push my belly out. I'm just relaxing my belly so there's more space to for the organs inside. There's, the organs have more space inside. They can correspond more effectively together. That's for good health. Coming down to the pelvic bowl. Pelvic bowl is very much like the shoulder girdle. A lot of muscles, tendons, arteries, veins, glands, sphincter muscles. What I want you to do is just tighten your butt cheeks. Feel that sensation. Now release. I mean, further down, let's come down to the legs. And what I want you to do is push your knees back, lock your knees, feel what happens to your low back when you do that. Now soften your knees. Let your life force, your energy, move down through the knees into your feet. Can you spread your toes? Feel sense or imagine that floor underneath and underneath that the earth. Here we say that we're the, we're the shape that's the bridge between heaven and earth. Our feet are firmly planted on the earth and we have a moral spiritual vision. Maybe as we came further down the body, maybe you tightened your eyes or bit down on your teeth. Just check that inventory. And if you said to yourself, or you could do it out loud if you're muted, say, I am, what would you, what would be the word that would follow that? For me, when I said that, the word that immediately came up was dignity. I am dignity. Now let's start with our feet for width. Feel the balance between the feet, at the knees, and at the hips. 
both sides. And along your legs, can you feel your clothes on the outside of your body? Coming up to our pelvis, our ribs. Maybe we can feel that as we breathe that our rib cage also goes out the long width. Shoulders are balanced, our heads on straight. Now what I want you to do is I want you to feel, sense, or imagine that this width you can extend into your room it's not just left to right, but it's forward and back. This width is a width all the way around. Are there any other living things in the room? You're in? Are there plants? Are there animals? Maybe there's wood from the bookshelves that came from a tree. By being in your body, can you sense or feel those things? Can you feel the space outside of this room? Maybe if you're in an apartment or a house, somebody else in the other room. We now know we can measure electromagnetic field of the body. Electromagnetic field of the heart goes out over 60 feet. We're part of that. This is when we're in the social space. We're connected to others, we're connected to the world. We're allowing ourselves to feel or sense others to be with them, to listen to them deeply. For a moment, there's maybe 50 people on this call. Can you feel, sense, or imagine your connection with everybody in this virtual space, all doing the same practice? Now let's go to depth. And again, I want to say if it's very it might be hard to come to one of these places in the body, just be patient, be kind to yourself. I don't know if I keep going there, if I bring my attention there, over time I'll feel myself in that place. Depth, front and back, because most of our senses are in front, because we're always working with these machines in front of us, our screens we often forget our back body. Bring yourself to your heels. And in your back body, have a sense of dropping down and back into yourself, settling into yourself, down and back. There's the image of that big dinosaur tail the old dinosaurs have, can you rest back into that? It's not just an idea, you're feeling the backs of your legs, you're feeling your buttocks, the long muscles next to the spine, back of your head, your history, your wounds, the wounds that have been healed, your teachers, your lineage, your ancestors. Your own skills and competencies resting back into there. Now bring your attention forward through your body to the front part of your body. Remembering we're the only animal that can do this. We're exposing this whole front, frontal part of our soul. Other mammals, when they fight with their own species, they have a thing called an appeasement cube. 
other animal, you've probably seen this in a dog fight, will lay on its back and show its belly. That says to the other, you are the superior one, the alpha one. Now we're always in that vulnerable position in some way. It's an interesting thought. I want you to take your left thumb and put it on your belly button and rest your palm just below that. Right in the middle of your palm is your center of gravity. We'll call that your belly center. Center of action, center of balance, center of intuition, like I have a gut feeling. Center where the energy that we exchange with the universe comes in through this center and then gets distributed through the body. So we tradition say that. Let your hand feel that part of your body. Let that part of your body feel your hand. Now let's come up to the heart center. Big pumps. Lungs, heart. Let your hand feel that part of your body. My body goes, oh, cold. Cold hands. As far as my grandmother said, cold hands, warm heart. Let your hand feel that part of the heart center. Place of compassion goodwill, love, harmony, benevolence. Start with a positive regard. Touch between your eyebrows. This is not your thinking self, but let's call it your eye center where your pineal gland is in there. Drop your hand. place of clear thinking, clear perception. You see in long horizons of time, maybe the horizon of eternity, the wisdom of space. And however it makes sense to you, like your can push a button or turn a lever or open the door of all three of these. Your capacity, the belly center for skillful action. At your, cent at your heart center, your capacity for compassion, empathy, love, grounded compassion. At your eye center, your capacity for a pragmatic wisdom, pragmatic wisdom. 